there were two really good defensive football teams playing, and um, our, our plan was to not turn the ball over. That that was number one goal, and, and that's what did us in. We had three turnovers, uh, including a pick six. So, uh, yeah, it did take away from a tremendous defensive effort um, by, by our, our staff and players. Um, but offensively, I think we bounced back and certainly put us in opportunities to win that game a number of times in the fourth quarter. Um, and, and it ended up, it just didn't happen. So just disappointed, uh, feel for, for everybody, especially the seniors, uh, but we need to bounce back. And this has been a very resilient group this year um, and, and throughout the years, the pandemic, I mean, they, they bounced back really well, um, but it, it was a tough one to, to, to kind of take after the game and Sunday. And, you know, at, at some point you just got to move on and, and focus on the, the next hand of task because it's, it's again, a, a really challenging team that we're playing this week and um, our kids want this next win. It's, it's number one goal on our goal chart and the kids understand the significance of this game no matter what the records are. Um, so it's a great game to play in. It's a great game to go out as a senior. Um, they're extremely focused. I mean, yeah, it's, it's you know, it, it's not what it could have been. Um, you know, a chance for a, the conference title and a, an NCAA playoff berth, but it still doesn't take away from it. It's going to be a very intense game. It's going to be a battle, and, and our kids and, and coaching staff are, are really looking forward to it and excited to take on a, a really strong Carnegie Mellon team and kind of set the tone for next year moving forward. It's been a, a really good group of people because they've, they've had to come together under very trying times with the pandemic. And they came in as freshmen in 2019 and, and we made the playoffs and had a great team coming back and that was taken away from them a year out of their playing career and um, 21 was extremely challenging just trying to navigate through that season with COVID restrictions and uh, quarantining and all the challenges we went through. Um, so that, that that's what I'll remember about them, that it would be really easy for them to just hang it up because it was so tough. Um, and the guys that did stick it out, I, I certainly will be grateful and loyal to them as they move forward in their lives and careers. Uh, a very good group of people that were brought together and made really tight because of very trying times. Hi, uh, I'm DJ Wolf. I'm a senior accounting major and I play defensive back for the Case Western football team. I'm from Menor, so I'm a local kind of Cleveland. A guy, and you know, so I've always known about Case and how prestigious the school is academically, and always kind of knew about the football team, but never really dove into it and stuff like that. But uh, got in contact with uh, Coach Debs and started the recruiting process from there, and learned more about the program and the school, and pretty much automatically fell in love with it. Um, and so it was a really smooth process, really, really awesome, and definitely the best decision I made for sure. It's been a great four years, uh, definitely here at Case. Um, yeah, we started when I came here my first year, I was uh, fortunate enough to be on a team that I uh, won the conference and I uh, got to play in a playoff game. I got to start in that game. Um, and then uh, then COVID hit, uh, that was definitely uh, a tough thing for everybody. And definitely, you had no idea what was really going on, but you just kind of stick around, persevere, and. Kind of go through that and then um last year was kind of i kind of look at it as like a kind of a rebuild year um and just kind of learning with like new team new teammates and uh just kind of try to learn and uh, go from there but this year um i thought honestly probably my favorite season so far uh, you start kind of started the season a little slow um but we kind of really we really grew i mean if you look at us last year in our first two games and you look at us now i mean the growth is just it's honestly crazy how much we've grown and uh, how much we've improved. Perseverance means to me, um, you know, obviously like it's never giving up, um, but it's really, you keep your one goal in mind or your couple goals in mind and you pretty much do anything in your power just to get it done. Uh, no matter what happens, uh, like no matter what throws at you, you don't make excuses and you just kind of, just kind of keep going towards your goal and until you pursue it. I definitely met a lot of people um, that have been really uh, influential in my life. Um, Coach Debs, the entire coaching staff, they're just all around great people, great mentors, great coaches, great people. Um, they've helped me out so much here at Case. And uh, some of the players I've met, um, now, you know, I have some mentor guys that I've played with. Uh, 
you know, on the team, on the defense, stuff like that. But um, the people, the new people that I've met um, through Case, uh, I mean, they're, they're people that I plan to be around and keep around in my life forever. My football experience here, uh, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I've had a great experience. Um, I feel that if anyone has somewhat even close to the experience I've had, that they've had a really good experience. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a great time. The coaches, the culture here, uh, and the players, they, you, you're just set up for success here. I would really just recommend it for everyone. And, you know, yeah, playing football, you know, you love football. Uh, that's a great thing, get to play the game, but, you know, you're set up for success with the, the focus and academics, and it's just a great all-around experience.